All right, so we've got a very special guest today. We've got Abdi. Abdi is one of our one of the earliest clients to join in the program. Recently, he's hit the the magical magical six figure mark, um, and we brought him on for a, for an interview today. Abdi, great to have you here, man. Likewise, man. Super cool. I've been waiting for this for a long time now. Yeah, <laughs> kind of felt yeah. that it you know it was taking a little bit more time than I expected, but you know yeah. keep put it into work. Yeah, man, we knew it was coming. Do you want to just give a quick introduction to you and what you do at the agency? Yeah, sure. So basically I run um, an agency called qualifiedappointments.io. So pretty self-explanatory. I help other agency owners that are stuck between the uh, below the 10, 20K um, per month mark, get more qualified bookings uh, using leverage, AI, uh, and value-based content as well. Um, and I basically just come in as a partner and help them build the infrastructures and everything. And I manage it, uh, manage it as well on a completely done for you basis. Uh, so that's basically how I, uh, um, how I do. And really what I've done and you guys have been helping with this is just, you know, practicing or helping them with what I already do for my own agency and, and putting the systems that I already use, um, for them. Yeah, man, you've figured it out already and you just help them to, to implement the same. So yep. that's all perfect. What we can do is we can just start at the beginning. I guess, do you mind just describing just before we first met um, what your situation was like personally and with the business? Yeah, sure. So basically it wasn't my first agency. I had a, a, a real estate agency. Um, so it, it was a bit weird. Like I, I was a student at that time, uh, but I really wanted to to start my business. I just started to figure out this whole you know, um, entrepreneurial, uh, journey and, um, and the fact that we could actually make good money online, uh, and that people that were probably like, you know, not as intelligent as most people out, um, uh, I knew were right. Like I was in engineering school, et cetera. All these people like to brag about, you know, we, we do science and all that stuff, but they end up, you know, just, you know, earning two, three K a month, uh, their, their whole life. Uh, so I didn't really, uh, I really didn't want that that life, and I and I really was in a position where I was like, okay, these guys know something that I don't know, and life isn't about being the best at math or uh, at AI or computer science or whatever, uh, and it's probably you know um, good for me like to go out there and and get information about this. So I went through the whole Eamon Gadzi course as most of us did. Um, you know, started the, the real estate agency, uh, really, really struggled in the first few months. Uh, then after, after a, few, a while I was able to close a few clients, uh, but it was really hard for me just to get clarity on exactly what I need to do to scale. So I was a bit on my own, uh, you know, the course, obviously, uh, <laughs> well, nothing again, Iman, Iman Gadzi, by the way, like I, I love this guy and he actually introduced me to entrepreneurship. So I'm super grateful, but like you realize that you need more and you probably need a mentor. And you probably need to follow the footsteps of someone that has already done what you want to do. Um, so yeah, I, I had a bunch of different issues. Uh, I believe we talked like when I had the real estate agency, which is quite funny. Yeah. Uh, and at that time, you guys were uh, in uh, doing the done for you, I believe. Um, and so we linked up again. I saw one of your videos uh, and your LinkedIn posts. Just wanted to reach out to you, back to you and see what you had to, to offer. Went on a call, uh, and this was exactly what I was looking for. Just having, you know, a mentor basically, uh, and someone that can guide me through all of this. I wasn't looking for something like done for you, to be honest, at, at, at that point, like obviously a lot of people want this, but I knew that I needed to, to become the person that can make the money. Like you cannot just delegate it. And maybe some of the, the, the guys or the girls that are watching this video, maybe have this in mind. They're like, oh, I want the done for you, et cetera. Trust me, this is yeah. this is gonna be a waste of time. I've done this before. I paid for other services that do the done for you. Won't work for you. It might work like locally and for a short period of time, but you cannot fake being a good entrepreneur. Like you cannot fake it. Yeah. It's yeah. just not gonna gonna happen. And then you know the rest is is history. I joined the the, the program. Um, and then uh, yeah, amazing uh, amazing guys out there. I was one of the first, so we had like a very uh, small community. But like the 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 guys out there were already killing it. Um, you know, some making like 20, 30 K a month already. You guys, obviously with your own experience, which are super help helpful because you, you were just, you were, you were still doing the, the done for you. Um, and like you had this, this short distance 
uh, between you and us because you were actually scaling an agency at that time, which was again, like super, super helpful. So if again, someone in uh, watching the video is like, oh, these guys are too far from me. That's not the case at all. And I think that someone that typically sells a course and that had an agency in 2015 can't really relate to what's going on right now in, in, in 2024. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basically the whole story. Yeah, man, that is that is perfect. And there's like a million things I want to unpack there. I think the, yeah, the first thing that I would ask you is you're obviously you're obviously a very smart guy. Like even in the content that you make, I see a more scientific way of of looking at all the parts of it. What actually drove you to wanting to pursue starting your own business, running the agency, as opposed to engineering, which is but seen by many as a very nice one. Nice job. Yeah. So basically I, I, uh, I'm from France, right? Like I'm, uh, I'm in Paris. And one thing that probably guys in your audience from the U S don't understand is that engineers in France and in the U S has, is a completely different game, uh, in terms of, you know, salary, et cetera, like six figure in France for an engineer is, you know, is never going to happen. Um, or almost never going to happen unless you're a, a freelance or something like this. Right. Uh, but, Basically, like this wasn't like the the route for me. Um, I have been, you know, educated in this whole like uh, prestige and uh, all that stuff because in France it's a very um, uh, present thing. Like when it comes to engineering schools, like we have the equivalent of Ivy League, but in France, mm. uh, and it's a very special system that only people in France know about. And you know, there, there's been this uh, pursuit of excellence always, like in my education and all that stuff. And when I realized that this wasn't gonna um, appear in my paycheck, like I, I kind of was like, it, I've been scammed there, right? Uh, so to give you like perspective on this, like an engineer in France, um, you know, they, they're they not gonna, like they're probably gonna start with like 2.5, 2.6K um, at best um, euros, right? A, a month. And, you know, end of their career, maybe they can look to to get like, five, six, seven K max, you know, at 55 years old. Um, so it, obviously like it's, you know, good enough like to leave, et cetera. But like there was a huge, you know, gap between the prestige and the actual lifestyle that you, that you have. For me, you know, if you're someone of prestige and you've reached excellence in education, et cetera, you should have the equivalent in terms of lifestyle or you, you should expect a, a certain level of lifestyle. But most people in France here like are, are you know, around the same kind of salary, like anywhere between 1.5 to, to 3.5 K, like everyone is in this, um, bracket. Okay. Yeah. So that for me, like that was like a no go. I was like, man, I've been doing like some super hard stuff, like very theoretical math and physics and all that stuff. And now I'm seeing like 19 year, years old, uh, guys, I I'm seeing Ethan killing it like two years old, um, um, younger than me, sorry. And more, all of some, all of the guys that we see on YouTube, IG, like that, that was a known fact that you could make money online. And I wasn't the type that, um, of people that say, you know, oh, these are scammers or liars. I was like, you know, come on, like there has to be something like they cannot lie their entire life. Like if they, if you see the Rolex on their, their wrist and, and, you know, they're always, uh, you know, Bali and, and, and Bangkok and the Maldives and that, that cannot be fake like 24 seven. Right. So I was more of the type to be to, to ask questions and be like okay th there's something i'm missing out and i've always been you know um humble when it came to you know people making money i was like you know they make money that means that they're better than me than me at making money that's as simple as it as it is uh so that was really like the 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 mindset shift that came and obviously iman the channel like he he had the super 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 great impact on like most guys like in my age bracket at that time i was like 20 when I first started to, uh, to learn about that stuff. And then really like six months later, I, I started like investigating this, got the course, et cetera. And, and this is really where, when I was like, okay, I need to, I, I need to take entrepreneurship seriously. And I know that engineering is not going to give me the life that I want. Right. I, I don't want to work like for some, for some guy, um, you know, a nine to five and just be like the technical nerdy guy that, you know, get three K three, four K a month. And then get stuck in this their whole life and scared to do their, their own thing. Uh, I have unlimited energy right now. I have like zero ego. Like I'm young, etc. I can learn. I can fail. It's completely okay. I have my parents that can support me if something's wrong. Uh, so let's let's just get it. Yeah. 
hundred percent. And it's, it's crazy. Everyone sees all these things online. Like no one's not seeing it, but so few yeah, yeah. people actually look at it in the way that you look at it in the sense that yeah. like, look, they're probably not scamming. And it's like, even if some people are bad, it's like, it still shows that if you put the, put the work in, you can actually achieve it. And now you just came back from a, from a holiday, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, absolutely. And, and, and in France as well, like I would like to add, uh, if you're, you know, audience, uh, in your audience, a lot of people are probably from the U S etc. Like people have a very, very weird mindset when it comes to money and maybe for you as guys, that might be hard to understand, but like they, 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 they have this idea about money that it, 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 it's linked. It's morally linked like to evil or like to something bad or to scamming or to stealing, uh, for some reason. Um, so it's almost like a bit of communist mindset in a sense. And, uh, it's very different from the U S and, and I like to get, to give this analogy, like people, when they see a Lamborghini or a Ferrari in the U S, uh, you know, they, they're more likely to be like, oh man, I, I, it's super inspirational. What do you do for, um, in life to get this, to be able, to be able to afford this lifestyle, etc. And And I like to say like in France, they're going to scratch it, right. And just run away. And that, that's, you know, a little bit of a caricature, but that's the kind of mindset that uh, people have there. Like success is seen as some, something almost like um, m m mystic, or I don't know if that's correct in English, but it's like something, you know, just like a legend that you're talking about. It's not real or, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and again, if you, the mindset is not here, you're never going to do anything because you're just going to have a, this, this, yeah. Um, yeah. this block blockage in your head and, uh, basically not going to take action. Yeah. So you don't even believe it's possible. So yeah. on your side, I mean, when we first had the conversation and I even remember you mentioning a lot of these things, I was asking like engineering, that like, that's good. It's like, no, 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 no. Not in France. You're not going <laughs> to yeah, yeah. make that much. So what was your initial goal when we were having our first conversation? Yeah. So my initial goal, to be honest, was really just to, not be able to, um, but basically to be able to have my own money, like from that, that I generate, like with my own product, etc. Um, again, like maybe my, my French mindset was like, you know, uh, bottlenecking me, but I, I was like, you know, just with 5k a month, uh, you know, profit, I would be, I would be good enough. Um, and, um, and yeah, not, not being able to work because again, like when you come from, a like when you're looking at jobs and we're looking at the business, these are like completely different scales. Like business owners, they're talking about, yeah, I'm going to go and 10 X this in the next two years. And like, they talk about big stuff. Right. And they're like, okay, in the next six months, I'm going to scale this to 20 K a month. But like for, uh, for <laughs> like, a someone that has a job, like th this yeah. is, this kind of discussions doesn't happen. So when you're trying to go from one to the other, it's a, it's a bit weird. Like it, your brain is like, well, you're talking about take 10 K a month, you know, hold on. Let me, let me just process this. If I just get like three K a month, four K a month is, you know, it's good enough. Um, but again, like this, uh, again, like, I, I don't know like, how to explain this, but you just need like to be in the situation and put in the work and live this life. And then like your brain is yeah. basically going to adapt right after one closing, two closings, you're basically gonna, you know, um, have more skill when it comes to uh just like seeing yourself as someone that deserves this kind of money which is a bit weird to talk about but it, that that's exactly what happened to me yeah i think it's not a lot of people talk about this which i'm which is why i'm really glad you bring this up because it's like you can't 10x your job you know yeah <laughs> talking about yeah we're gonna make 10x more next month it's like boss is like no you're not <laughs> like not a, chance, yeah, not a yeah. chance but in business it's like within a week I think there was even a period for you, like within a month, you signed like two, three, four clients and that could just yeah, exactly. five X your income, 10 X your income. Um, Absolutely. So and even this month, like, like a... yeah. sorry. Yeah. hundred percent. I was going to say that initial 5k that you wanted at the time when we were on that call, were you working the job already or were you just getting into it? Uh, our first call, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you set the goal at 5k. Yeah. So, uh, on our first call, uh, I was just like, I, I had started the job for like one month. Yeah. Um, and it obviously it didn't last more than, than four months, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that, that, 
at that time, you know, I was like, I was believing in this, but like in terms of my goals and in terms of the way I, I, I saw money and myself as well, like as someone that can provide value, uh, it was really, really different. Like it, it was, because again, like uh, even though like I'm someone that is very confident, etc., like if your brain like has lived with a certain con conception of of mm. money, etc., yeah. like it's yeah. hard for you like to rewire it like in an instant. Like you need to actually take action and change stuff in your environment. Uh, and even so for someone that had an agency just like me and and had signed clients and and is following you know all this this content and this uh, SMMA agency online business space. It, it wasn't like super, uh, super easy. Like I could tell it with my tongue, but like the, the confidence, you know, and say, Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this amount of money before the year ends. Like it's super, super, um, hard to, yeah. to say this yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. What actually, what actually allowed you to change your mindset in that way? Like what was the thing? Just taking really action, to be honest. Yeah. Taking just action. taking action, to be honest, like ju just doing sales calls and closing people and, hmm. And also being around people that, you know, uh, there, there's the Joe, I believe, like that, that was like, hey, I, I'm, I'm closing here and there. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, to be honest, like seeing people again, like m different people may have different reactions to this. Some may be demotivated, etc. For me, like it was really the, the opposite. I was like, you know, like, again, this guy like knows something that I don't know because he's almost disrespecting money. He's like. Yeah, I'm, I'm closing uh, here and there. It's super easy. Um, and he has like bigger goals as well. Um, when I heard him, you know, he's spending, I don't know, uh, 5K per month on ads, etc. I was like, man, this oh, yeah. is yeah. two and a half months of my of my wage, current wage. What 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 are you talking about? And again, like th this just changes your, uh, your perspective. So I would say taking action and being around uh, winners in a sense. Yeah, yeah. There's a specific example I want to touch on, but I wanted to ask first, just so we can keep the timeline in order. When yep. you first joined, so we had the call, we're like, this makes sense. Let's get to this call. What were the first things and your first actions that you took when you joined the program? Yeah, good question. So to be honest, like I, I already knew a lot of stuff. So maybe for people that are watching right now, um, you know, for me, I, I I had experience in the SMMA space, so I would and I, I went straight into the the whole like prospection thing, but I just wanted to get clarity on the offer, uh, very fir firstly, uh, with uh, with Ethan and Josiah, etc. And really, my goal was to start outreach as soon as possible to get results because I already knew that 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 was the 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 main priority in the beginning. Okay, yeah. so this this was like my my first action step. And then obviously just getting feedback very, very often, like coaching calls in the beginning are the best, you know, the, the best thing that you can do really, because you're not busy. Yeah. Like you don't have calls yet, uh, or maybe you have like one or two calls here and there. So for the first four months or yeah, even more, like I was attending like every single uh, uh, coaching call, uh, because this is again, like where you will get the feedback and the knowledge, et cetera. So this was really my priority in the beginning. Yeah, hundred percent. And I, you're completely right. I was saying this to someone else earlier, but it was like the people who join the coaching calls religiously at the beginning, they're all doing the best now. Like yeah. Jovan, like zero to 10K in like 90 days. You get into 10K. Like the transformation has been massive. Um, and I've seen it happen with you specifically because you've just been putting the work in every single yeah. week, sending the outreach, posting the content, taking the sales course. So it's been... It's been fantastic. And then on those calls, we obviously spoke a ton, which was great. I guess what were the some uh, what were some of the major takeaways that you had um, from the, the whole experience? Yeah, sure. So to be honest, what I really appreciated, and this is like you know um, across the board, like for, for the, the entire program, was just like the way that you guys demystify. I, I don't know if that's correct in English, but like you you demystify, yeah. you make it yeah. very simple. Uh, in terms of what you need to do. And, and I think like mm -hmm. in terms of, um, and also for people that are very straightforward and, and analytical like me, um, just having like, you know, the breakdown of the steps you need to take was like super, super helpful. Because in the beginning, you're, you you don't really know what directly impacts the output that you want, right? And, yeah. and hence like the need to have like a, a mentor because a mentor will know 
okay, ju just just focus on this. Okay, no worries. Ignore all of this. When we'll get to this stage, you can talk about this and this. But for now, just focus on this. Okay. So typically for we for me it was um, it was uh, uh, outreach in the beginning, etc., just to validate the offer, get the fir first few sales calls, yeah. then putting uh, um, uh, putting value based content, etc., to increase trust and to make the the cold DMs even more effective. All that stuff. So that was just like the 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 best thing for me, like just having extreme clarity because when it's clear and you don't have like all these doubts and 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 you you're able to fight against the the shiny object syndrome and all these distractions you can really just focus on what you need to be uh to be doing and like this is for me like the the key to to success right now uh is just like breaking down everything that you need to do okay this input is going to give me this output i know it for a fact for sure it's worked for a thousand people there's no reason it's not going to work for me and I, now I just uh, need to to get to work. Yeah, literally. It was like, I think at the beginning, we were like, we just need, I'm, I've been saying this like every day for months to everyone new that's joining, but it's like offer performance basis to figure out how to do what you're doing, get a case study, charge more, just do more outreach, do more sales calls and you'll get it. Like, yep. it's literally it. Um, I wanted to ask you as well, because... Right now, you're doing the done for you, um, the done for you agency. You're doing great work with that. There's a lot of people who have started in the space doing done for you appointment setting, all of this stuff. Don't worry, I see them all the time. But you take a pretty unique approach to it, right? You take, you look at it from a very different angle. You integrate leverage, content, a more holistic approach. Do you want to just give an explanation of how you are doing it differently? compared to all the other people doing like straight volume based appointment setting and all of that. Yeah, sure. So, so basically again, like just applying what has worked for me for, for clients. Um, I mean, we can also talk about like the, the, one of the mistakes I made was to going like yeah. too, too broad in the beginning in terms of my clients, which gave me some issues for delivery. But basically the, the main uh, thing for me was like to use both value and value based yeah. content. And um, and uh, the traditional outreach methods, uh, also with like some some stuff that you guys teach, like voice notes, etc. Um, yeah. But really, what 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 was the game changer was like having this content part because I've noticed that you know the, the game is being like very very uh, saturated right now. A lot of people have been burnt in the past by agencies, all that stuff. So now you you need like to appear as someone of authority. So this is where I started doing outreach. Um, content as well videos again like if for someone that is watching this like I, I highly suggest that you guys use videos like seeing your face it's a for some reason like it's completely different from just posts because from i don't know from a psychological emotional uh, perspective maybe like seeing another human being like it creates more trust they see you talking they see your emotions all that stuff like they connect with you a lot more and the, the effect that this has, and this is something that, that I didn't know in the beginning, is that it's going to actually increase the efforts that you do for the outreach, right? So when like the, the conversions that you're going to get from your cold DMs are going to, you know, just mul multiply. Uh, because again, like when you send a DM, you need to understand that, you know, these guys are going to check out your profile. If you look like a scam, you have 37 connections and your, your high school profile picture, which is blurred and, you know, you're at a party. It's you're not going to get a response. They're going to ignore you. And it's, and it's completely normal because these guys, like they're just like you. Right. And, and I think most people, what they, uh, what they forget to do is just to put their, their, their selves in the shoes of the, the customer. Like when was the last time you wired 2k to a guy that called DM you with no, nothing on the profile. It probably never happened. Like you, you consumed his content on, on, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on, whatever, but you saw him as an authority in some way. Yeah. And, you know, he was the expert in your eyes, at, you know, to some, to some degree. And this is why like you, you trusted him. So I just had this real realization that obviously you guys like do this on your own. So I was just like, you know, I, I need to get serious about this. And then I started doing this for, uh, for my clients as well. Uh, so hence like the, the kind of double strategy, like basically inbound and out outbound to me, like, need not to be separated like they need to be yeah. the the just one thing and um and you can use these value videos as well like in your cold dms instead of pushing for a hard call to action you try and give value first and build this trust and it's also going to help you close a lot more yeah i agree with you completely 
And I, I really like the point that you made where it was like content is like a force multiplier on your outreach. Yeah. So it's not one or the other, like inbound or outbound. Yeah. It's like the two combined is just going to be so much more effective. So yeah. that's perfect. Do you have, like, let's say someone's in a position. I'll ask them about if, some, if they were in your position later on. But if they were in a position where they're running a normal agency, like let's say they offer advertising to e-com brands or whatever, and they were struggling to sign clients, they couldn't book enough meetings, what advice would you give them? Yeah. So first off, I would see like that if uh, I would first see if they're um, posting content, again, value based, because like when I say content, like it's not just any kind of content, like the more actionable and the more uh, insightful and the more uh, targeted to the, your specific niche it is, the most the more effect it's going to have, like really. And for, again, like I'm talking from experience because when I started doing this, you know, you know, it was a matter of a few weeks uh, before I started get I started getting really really good results. So I would yeah. say first off, start posting value based content around the issues that your niche um, your niche has. Okay, the the most painful pain points, and always link them to your system or your service. Because no one really cares about your service unless it solves problems, right? A lot of people are pushing, hey, I'm doing Google ads, I'm doing Facebook ads, I'm doing this and that. You, you are helping a business scale or making more money or save time. This is really like the, the only things that these guys uh, care about. Now you need to link the sub problems from, from these goals. There are sub problems. Like to make money, you need X, Y, and Z, right? And you're going to link your system to each and every one of these. And you just with this, you basically have unlimited uh, content ideas and you just like put them in order. Um, and then once you have enough volume, you just look at the best performing ones to, to know like what's, what, what your audience, uh, likes the, the most. And then, you know, you can expand it. Like you can start posting v YouTube videos, um, from these short videos that you've posted on LinkedIn and, and Twitter, for example, and it's just gonna create like this, this momentum. And most people don't do it because. And here's the thing, like most people don't do it because like it, no, nothing happens in the beginning. And this is why like it's to me, like I, I find it like so easy to, to win in a saturated niche or in a saturated game, because like most, first off, most people will quit, right? So you don't even have to, to care about like the 90% of them, to be honest. And then there are those that are going to do the bare minimum. They're going to buy the, the, uh, Iman's course again, no, no offense against him, Iman's course. And they're going to copy paste the, the, the scripts, et cetera, and just not going to get any results. Right. And then there are the guys that are going to, you know, do everything just like you guys promote in the, in the course uh, and in the program, the coachings, like do everything. Like do, do, you, you, you're not in a position in the beginning when you need to, to pick and choose, like you have time, you don't have appointments yet. You have a lot of time, a lot of energy. Hopefully you have some knowledge about what you're doing. We're not scamming people out there. You need to give this this value, and as you guys teach, like it's just gonna be like more sales energy given upfront, yeah. uh, and it's gonna like give you like a lot less headache in terms of the closings, in terms of how the the appointment goes. So this is really what I would suggest uh, for for the guys out there that are, that have issues with this. Post value based content in the way that I've just explained, and then use it in your outreach efforts to to create this uh, this compound effect. Oh, couldn't have said it better myself. That is great. <laughs> and just to touch on that sales energy point for people who may not know what it is, it's like certain things need to be taken to get someone from a cold prospect to a warm pain client. And let's say it's like a hundred units of energy. Most people just try to do that hundred units on the call. They're like, Matt, yeah. you should buy it. Like handle this objection, handle this question, do all this. And you're on there for like four hours and you're just doing like follow-up calls and then they ghost you and all these million things. But like what you're saying, it's like you're, providing the value upfront and essentially you're taking care of, let's say 80% of the sales process with content and the final 20 is closing. And I think, I think a good example is like when you first started, your pricing was pretty low and now it's, I think you close like a, charging a lot more too, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I mean, about, about pricing again, like this was like more of a mindset thing. Uh, I would say though it's 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 fine like to to have uh, the imposter syndrome in the beginning uh, because you know like it's good to have it because it means like you're not good enough and it's probably true right 
and even myself like I, I consider myself like not not good enough right now in terms of my objectives etc so now when you're able to actually have a system that works so typically when you've done it for yourself or for one client etc yeah. uh then you can really charge more with confidence um because again like you you need to kind of rewire your brain in terms of is this money worth the the outcome that i can get them and that i was able to get for myself or for uh, another client right and you just you know act again upon data and upon reason not upon your emotions etc so for the guys that are watching here and that that have a nine to that have a nine to five and that are like oh charging 3k is a lot of money you know i was exactly in the same position and i had a hard time charging this and then w one day like i just once i started getting results for one client which was like really hard for me i i like i just i was just like okay this guy he's he's selling he was selling like a 15k package he was um uh he has an agency basically working with coaches and help them with public speaking and i was like this guy like if i just get get him one client um and i was doing performance only with him by the way um like i'm gonna get him a lot of money so then i i just I just started like pitching more in terms of my pricing. And and I think this is something that I shared like on one of the coaching call, uh, which I still remember. I, I was like, guys, I just closed like 5K in uh, two days. Um, so one guy for 3K and another guy for 2K up front, uh, one call close. And I didn't even have like the, the whole funnel that I have right now in terms of uh, giving value on the, the Calendly reminders, et cetera, and, and pre-selling them as you guys do. Uh, I didn't have content, uh, video content as well. I was posting on LinkedIn, but not videos. Uh, and these guys, like, they just liked the system, the pitch. Uh, I used the uh, my Miro board, um, Lucid charts, etc. And and they found it like very professional. They liked the system, and I'm still working with them today, by the way. Um, and, and they just like paid upfront. So this and and this is why I mentioned at the beginning. You need, just need to take action. Like when this happened, like this was like an entire um mindset shift for me like i never charged below 3k uh, uh from that point onwards because i had proof in front of me um maybe i was lucky etc but i had proof in front of me that it was possible that's the that's the main point and that if i had like the the right things in place i could um uh, actually charge this kind of money and close even though like my thing was absolutely like i have i had no youtube i had basically i had i had almost nothing except like the post the text posts on linkedin and the lucid chart that i was presenting to them which is you know m most people out here would say like it's the bare minimum yeah. um and you know, you know like you see that that is possible and again like your brain like sometimes you know you can't convince you can convince it with reason but like nothing is more powerful than just experiencing the thing yourself right um yeah. and yeah that's yeah. the main thing that that changed for me uh and it just went better and better after this because on the call you you just start talking like someone that is you know that that is like yeah it's 3k uh yeah, yeah of course it's it's 3k <laughs> do you see what i mean and in the beginning you were you were getting objections for like i was getting objections for like uh 750 dollars um which is which is a bit crazy because this guy the, the guy that closed for 3k he was like yes uh let's go let's do it so uh yeah definitely uh definitely a big change 100 percent, man 100 percent. it's like you nailed it there because it's like when people ask what did, what should they charge at the beginning well like can i charge 3k at the start it's like technically you can but it's like yeah. are you gonna have any conviction at all that what you're doing is worth 3k <laughs> if you haven't even done it so yeah absolutely you know, i think that's why the approach that you took it made so much sense too that you took that gradual raise and you just keep seeing people like um, Vimal close like a $36,000 deal. Um, Josh, Joe, Aman, consistent big deals in the space. So that's great, man. And I wanted to ask next 12 months, obviously you, you already left the nine to five. You're on this full time. Yeah. What's the, what's the goals? Yeah. So to be honest, like I'm looking at different things right now, but, um, for me, like in the next 12 months, I would like to be at least at like 25, 30 K um and for me like it's it's you know it's just a matter of uh again like putting the right inputs here um i'm starting like to have like more and more stuff um in terms of opportunities um as you guys like uh, as i've discussed with i believe josiah or, or maybe it was you um now i i get people on the sales calls 
that are closing themselves on like a different offer like that they want to like yeah. they want to create on the spot so typically like um uh coaching etc so they're they're like yeah. oh i cannot afford the done for you but would you be doing like so i had this guy he wanted to do like 2k for three months just coaching just me helping him like with two calls per week which is absolutely amazing like for me like that was again you guys like are, are doing this right now and you're at an advanced level but like you start seeing like other opportunities and and even more leveraged because now i'm like okay why is this guy asking me to coach him that something has happened here because like he maybe he's seen my content and he's like you know this guy can help me out there and i'm just started working with him and ironically like he he's kidding me he got me like a testimonial after like the first month um because he was just like happy with the value and all that stuff that i learned from you guys and by the way like i even like give gave credit to you guys i was like yeah this is my mentor actually um so for me it's really a matter now of of having the foundations in place when it comes to you know creating an, an offer and being able to um uh to generate you know appointments for yourself uh scaling your business etc not being scared of sales calls being able to close when you don't close again like i ask i still ask you guys like about you know what uh, uh could i have improved etc but now i see everything just like a numbers game like okay this is what you should have done the conversions aren't aren't good enough etc you need to tweak this and this and that's pretty much it but in terms of revenue definitely you know 25 30k uh next year Maybe I, I don't know, like, because uh, again, like I got a call last, uh, like just yesterday, another another guy just closed himself on like a coaching. He told me again, like, I, I saw your videos on, on LinkedIn. Uh, can you coach me, et cetera? Can you help me with this? Because he, can't, he, cannot, he couldn't afford the, the done for you. And I was like, yeah. and now I'm like, man, he's going to give me like less headache, less less work. Uh, and the guy is happier. And, and this was like absolutely crazy. The guys are happier. And all of this just because like you've been, uh, as you mentioned, like sales energy, you're front loading a lot of value and you're testing on your own, like for your own business in the meantime and for clients. And you're just like gathering a ton of, of experience and, uh, uh, and, and knowledge about the space. So, yeah. hundred percent, man. You're, you're making so much progress. And the thing that, that we talk about a lot is the idea of proof of concept. And it's yeah. just that. If you find something that works, that's the most difficult part. And as soon as you do that, it's just a matter of doing it more often. So in your case, it's like you figured out how to build an offer. You figured out how to book meetings. You figured out how to close. And you're figuring out how to deliver now. So it's like once you figure that out, it's just let's just do more of that. So yeah. honestly, man, 20, 30K, it's extremely achievable. Um, but the last thing I wanted to ask, this has been great, by the way. If you were talking to someone Maybe they're working a nine to five, maybe they're studying, who was in the exact same situation as you when you first got started, who wants to be where you are now, making all this money, traveling, famous on YouTube, all that. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what would you say to that person? What advice would you give them? Yeah, great question. So first off, I would just like get clar absolute clarity on the like the mindset and the goals. Like, what do you actually want out of your life? So for me, it was, as I mentioned before, very clear. Like I, I, I wanted like a good lifestyle. I wanted to have the freedom. I wanted to actually make money <clears throat> uh, for myself and be able to take care of my family, my, you know, my friends, all that stuff and have the freedom to actually do it because I know that this is possible. So now from, from that, you know, uh, that, um, that truth that I kind of realized, I was like, what is going to get me there, right? So if you're a nine to five, just accept that you cannot live this lifestyle with the nine to five. There are some jobs out there that allow you to do so. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. There are some software engineers at Google that, that work, you know, remotely and all that stuff. But again, like take a percentage of, of, of these guys compared to the average student, you know, it's very, very hard to do. And even these guys, to be honest, they they have a boss, right? Like they, they cannot just do whatever they want. So now for me, if you're in this situation and you actually want this and, and you're going to be able to put in the work that is required to do this, then from that, that, from that point, the goal is really like, first off, to get a mentor and to get started and take action. Because for me, like if you have the right guidance and if you have someone that is close enough to you, so just like you guys, right? Uh, because they have done this and they're still doing this. But 
have achieved or are a few steps uh, ahead of you. They have achieved basically what you want to do. Then you just start working with them and you do everything that's necessary to uh, to get to your goals, which is obviously you're working a nine to five. Uh, you know, there are costs like renting an agency is not zero dollars, just like the, these guys were trying to sell it in 2018. It costs a little bit of money, nothing comparable to, you know, launching an old old fashioned business like a, a restaurant or anything you need to to put 100k up front whatever nothing like this obviously but you need some money so for me personally it was like just getting uh um uh, gathering money from the nine to five you know leave your, with your parents it's fine like stop girls etc like it doesn't matter for now like you're you're a noble a nobody anyways so you just try and build yourself and be someone uh that can have like this lifestyle and just make the sacrifices because they're, they're going to be sacrifices, to be honest. Like for me, the, the lifestyle I, I had and I still have, like most of the time just working and going to the gym. That's pretty much what I'm doing, right? And I'm taking ho- my first holiday like for a year uh, now, but I know for a fact that it's just going to get easier now because like yeah. the, the, the hardest part is just to get to this milestone and to acquire the, the knowledge. Like you being able, being able to hit 5 to 10K a month doesn't it's not really about money it's more about the person that you've became you've become or you've became yeah you've become and you have acquired these skills that allows you that allow you to do this like it's not by chance that you get to, to this especially like when it's month after month uh, for me it was a bit of a roller coaster i was like i've done like 5k uh i was doing like 1.5 2k uh you know for the first two or three months and then i've done like uh five and then i've done like uh, uh, eight, eight point five, something like this, and then I dropped again to like five, and then six, and then this month, like I'm like at at eleven, uh, almost more than eleven, uh, and maybe it's gonna drop. But you see here that it's like it's not by chance, right? Like I didn't drop to like a thousand, so that means that there you're making progress. So you need to see this like with the yeah. at a larger scale, and see that you know six months from now you're basically like bad at everything that you were doing, and now you're half decent or decent right and this yeah. this shows like in the numbers that you're making so definitely get get the mentor make the sacrifices put this capital uh for you to achieve all of your dreams and then just literally like get get to work and i you know uh, especially with ethan and the and agp program like you guys are are gonna get results like again this is not magical like this is just you know uh common sense just apply what it says and have the the you know the hunger like to get after your goals because like it's hard and it, it's hard and probably nothing is going to happen in the beginning but you need to have like this mental fortitude to keep pushing uh, and it's going to be a lot easier with the with the group and the coaching calls brother that was fantastic this whole this whole session now has been fantastic um people are probably going to want to learn more about you where can they find you on the internet yeah, sure. So basically, I, I post a lot on LinkedIn, so you can uh, reach me. It's Abde Chan um, and uh, on IG as well and YouTube, but for the French market. So I'm trying to uh, maybe specialize a bit more in the in the French market. So same name uh, on um, on um, on YouTube uh, and on uh, and basically on my YouTube, you will find my IG as well. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Perfect, man. We'll link it in the descriptions and all that as well. But either way, man, I really appreciate the time. It was great speaking as usual. And I'll talk to you very soon. Yeah, man. Pleasure as well. Bye-bye.